I know you know this, but opening day for the Red Sox is three weeks away. And right now, the center fielder appears to be the third round pick of the 2000, year 2000, Montreal Expos, Grady Sizemore. I'm Kevin DuPont with Dan. You knew that, Dan Shaw. team doesn't even exist anymore. No, no, but he's going to be in center. By all looks of it, he's going to be in center field or Jackie Bradley Jr., what is your belief, Dan Shaughnessy? Well, you're jumping the gun here a little bit again. Yeah. Sizemore's That's what played we do. Like three or four games in spring training. Hasn't played a game of any baseball since September 2011. Seven surgeries, back surgery, and didn't even play that well in 2011. The but Peyton Manning ver version of yeah. sentence. It's sentence. on them to see what he is, and that's what you do now. Yeah. The commitment's very marginal, and they don't have Jacoby Ellsbury waiting in the wings. I mean, so this job is up yeah. for grabs, and if he can be a... a, a fraction of the player that he was three, four, five years ago, sure, you give that a long look, it's low dough, it's low risk, and Bradley hasn't demonstrated he can hit the big leagues. But don't be handing over the job to Sizemore just yet because yeah. he's starting a couple of spring training games. Right, it looks to me like, so let's define his upside. His upside to me looks like excellent center fielder, 275 hitter maybe, 280 in, the, in perfect well, speed. Well, he was, I mean, he was a 30-30 guy. He could hit 30 home yep. runs, steal 30. He did that. He was a top five MVP candidate. I mean, he was one of the best 10 players in the American League when he was when he was going. He's still only 31 years old, but so a lot he, of injuries. So if he can be 70% of that yes, guy, he's, he's probably better than Bradley the same. at 70%. Okay. Yes. And uh, Bradley, of course, looks to be, at the moment, a 200 major league hitter. Well, he hit 189, like 35 yeah. games last so year. So I'm being too kind. And uh, he's, a, you know, he's a, a, a good kid, and he has good skill set. We just don't know what he is as a big league hitter. And, of course, you can't find out until you let him do it. So uh, one of them is going to be your center fielder. I don't think you'll have any kind of platoon situation. They need to commit to one. And it's really all about Sizemore's health as they go forward now. Yeah, not to be alarmist, which is what we also do, but let's suppose neither can do it. Does it go to Victorino? Does he shift over? That would be the doomsday scenario yeah. out of this thing. And they, they like Victorino and Wright. And it, it's, as you know, a very hard place to play in Fenway Park. Yeah. They love Victorino and Wright. They don't want to do that, but they can do it because they have other people, Gomes, Nava, Carp. They, go they to the corner. Yeah. Go to the corner. Well, that's doomsday. For now, it's opening day, and it's a toss-up. JBJ or the 2000 round three Grady. pickup of the Montreal Expo. Can't have too many Grady's. <laughs>